Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a steady state and an equilibrium. These are two terms that get thrown around a lot between micro and macroeconomics. They can be kind of confusing because they sound super similar and they seem to be talking about the same thing. So I want to take a couple seconds to just talk about the differences and hopefully make it a little more clear for you guys. So when we're talking about a steady state, we're generally talking about it in the context of a long run steady state. We're generally talking about the long run versus an equilibrium. We could be talking about the long run as well, but generally we're more geared towards a short run equilibrium. So what are some common uses of each that we can kind of think about? Well, if we're talking about a long run steady state, generally we're talking about a macro model. And generally we're talking about something closer to an infinite time horizon macro model. So we might talk about a long run steady state in a neoclassical growth model. We might talk about it in a solo growth model, but generally we are not talking about any short run time period when we talk about a steady state. Because again, most often we're gonna talk about a long run steady state, even if the long run part of the long run steady state isn't explicitly stated. If you hear steady state, you're thinking long run. Equilibrium we said could be both. So we're generally thinking about some micro models. So when we think about supply and demand, if supply or demand shifts, we know that price adjusts instantly and we are right back into a equilibrium. That's generally a short run equilibrium. We could have a longer run equilibrium. So if you're thinking of an ISLM model where maybe you have a shift in the IS curve and then a little bit later in sort of the medium run, you have that LM curve shift that adjusts as well to the like longer term equilibrium. That example is something where we would call it an equilibrium and we wouldn't really call it a steady state. So I've just drawn two graphs here. The first one is a long run steady state example from the solo growth model. The right is a supply and demand for the equilibrium. And just like I said before, if we have some shift in demand, that price adjusts instantaneously to the new equilibrium to the pink dot. So again, equilibrium, that is a short run equilibrium that is happening very, very fast. Whereas if we look at this solo growth model and we look at capital per worker, then we see that we start here and over time we approach the steady state and we reach it, but this time horizon is very, very long. So we say that this K over L star is a long run steady state. So hopefully this clears up the differences between long run steady state and equilibrium. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.